Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to have a little bit of fun playing with some Tom Ford makeup. I realize I have not done a Tom Ford video in quite some time and I actually got several requests to pick up the new beautiful Tom Ford Soleil Neige. This is the eye quad that they launched for this season. And this is the Tom Ford Lumiere d'Hiver eye quad, as you can imagine, right up my alley. And I got several requests to review that as well as the new Tom Ford, the Soleil Neige Glow Highlighter. And then while I was at the counter, I went ahead and picked up the Tom Ford Rose Lip Tint Oil too. So then I thought, you know what, we'll just do a full face of Tom Ford Beauty, even finishing off with a Tom Ford fragrance to go along with the entire look. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this Soleil Neige look from Tom Ford, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we need to put makeup on this face and I have to admit I'm so excited to play with the Tom Ford Soleil Neige, this beautiful eye quad. I could not resist. This again is just sort of right up my alley, a neutral with a pop to it. So gorgeous. I can't believe I bought another highlighter. But I did. This one just looked so pretty. This beautiful pink tone. This is the Rosé Irisé. So we will do a little battle of all the new highlighters coming up. There is just so many releases right now. They're all so pretty. But this one from Tom Ford, I got many requests from you to review it. But I also felt like this was sort of right up my alley. I did pick up the Tom Ford Rose Lip oil tint as well. We are going to have a little fun playing. I thought we would go ahead and do a full face of Tom Ford. I have nothing on my face so far, so I thought we would quickly put on some complexion before moving on to these beautiful goodies. To prep my lips, let's go ahead and try out this lip oil. This is a pricey little lip oil. I will admit I had some naughty notes because I wasn't going to pick this up. I really love the Dior Lip Glow Oils, but I did kind of want to check this out. So for the sake of review, let's go ahead and try this on. Hmm. Okay. Prepping our lips with this rose lip tint oil. Um, what I will tell you is it feels absolutely lovely on the lips. Um, and I feel like it is a super pretty color. I don't know if you can tell, but it seems to be reacting with the pH in my lips um, and making it a little bit rosier. So although this looks clear, let me show you a swatch on my hand. Um, it does seem to be kind of reacting to the pH on my lips and it's kind of deepening. So it's actually really pretty. But yes, this is a clear lip oil for $60. So you will be paying for the Tom Ford packaging. Uh, the packaging is spot on. It is really beautiful black and white sort of classic. And now let's go ahead and put on some foundation. I'm going to be using my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Foundation. This really is one of my favorite Tom Ford Foundations. And I have this in the shade 4.7 Cool Beige. So I haven't used this in a while and this is a really beautiful foundation. So I was kind of excited to pull out some of my Tom Ford goodies. And as I think about it, I actually haven't really purchased any Tom Ford goodies recently. So 
kind of having fun playing with my stash as well. And I'm starting with fingertips here and then I'm just going to kind of dab this into the skin. This foundation always looks so pretty on the skin. Okay, so glad I pulled that foundation out. I am loving it and haven't used that in a while. So, so I'm actually going to start using that more because I'm absolutely loving the finish, the way that it feels on my skin. Um, very hydrating, glowy, perfect as we're coming into the cooler months here. And then I have my Shade and Illuminate Concealer and I have this in the shade Creme. And this is another good concealer that... I haven't used in a bit of time and I need to because these are really beautiful products. So I'm just taking my finger first and sort of tapping that concealer underneath trying to get rid of any redness here and I stayed up a little too late watching lessons of chemistry and I had not read the book so for those of you that read the book you knew what was coming up but I did not and I was a little distressed <laughs> I don't want to ruin it for anybody else but it is such a good new show it is on Apple TV and I just love it Complexions on. I'm quickly going to dip into my powder. I don't even know if they make this powder anymore. It is basically the translucent powder. That was a long time love, but I'm just going to set everything really quick before we play with the new goodies. Okay, we have a nice blank canvas upon which to work with. And then I did pull out my Angie Hot and Flashy brush set. So excited about these brushes. And I thought I would use number 301 and 302. 302 is the crease shader. And then 301 is the lid shader. So fresh little brushes to play with. And let's take a moment to look at this gorgeous quad before we dip in. I'll give you a couple swatches here. So pretty. So up here, it looks like we have like a bone colored shade. Ooh, so creamy. So milky creamy here. Then we've got this awesome taupe. Let me come here and oh gosh, this is freaking gorgeous. And then we're going to come swatch this next shade over here. Oh gosh, this is completely right up my uh, alley here. And then this deep chocolatey brown. And what I will tell you already is these are very pigmented, supery buttery. Supery buttery, I don't know what that word is. Super buttery and oh gosh, you guys, this is just so gorgeous. So let me give a little swatch. Okay, look at this right here. I am so glad I picked this up. I haven't even put it on my eyes, but I'm absolutely dying over these two shades. Very much Abbey shades. And this is super creamy, like a base. So I feel like this is a great primer. Um, it feels like it is supposed to be a primer. And then this lovely deep chocolatey brown. Ooh. This is so gorgeous. And this is the Soleil Neige Lumiere d'Hiver. 
And this is basically, I think Lumiere is bright winter. <laughs> I believe that's it, or light winter um, quad. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with this bone shade right here, this vanilla shade, and again, it feels very much like a primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place that all over the lid. So this is gonna be a primer to basically adhere all the other shadows too. This is definitely a primer. Wow. Okay, so as I'm saying, these are really pigmented and buttery. Um, this is great to cancel out any redness on my lids. Really gonna give a nice canvas upon which to play with those gorgeous shimmering shadows. Tom Ford always does an amazing job with those shimmers. Okay, here's that base color. I'm kind of wanting to call it vanilla over here, bone vanilla. And we're gonna go right into this gorgeous shade here. And I'm taking her crease brush over here and I'm sticking it in this gorgeousness. And we're gonna start to build a little bit of color into that crease. Ooh, that is so pretty. Okay, this is what it looks like so far on my eyes. And then we're gonna come into this gorgeous pop color. And I'm gonna be putting that sort of on the inner part of the eye here. And this is just gonna look sort of soft and ethereal. I'm thinking about how if I was skiing and there was just fresh snow powder and it's just always so like um, good for the soul to be up on the mountain with the fresh air even though it's cold and the fresh snow and I just can see how the light reflects off the snow. That's what this color right here is reminding me of. So pretty. So we're going to put some of that on my lid here. Ooh. Okay, that's a definite lovely pop color. I love it. And it definitely is giving me the pretty kind of snow vibes here. It's so pretty, you guys. Don't worry, we can intensify with this if we want to on the outer V. Um, but I want to go ahead and use this as a lovely liner near the lashes. And then if we want to, we can put some of that matte color into the crease. Let's see how dark it is first. But I love this color right here. I love this. Um, so far, so beautiful. Okay, I'm coming into this one. I'm using a flat edged brush. Uh, this is another BK Beauty, number 204. And I'm gonna come over here, just like that. And we are gonna push this near the lash line. Kind of tamp down a little bit of the frost. It's a pretty color. A little pop there. Just going to come in just slightly over. We'll blend everything, don't worry. It may look a little intense at the moment, but I just want to get the pigment down. Taking just a teeny bit of what's on this brush. I'm gonna blend this out, but I'm adding just a little bit of that matte shade up into the crease. I don't wanna deepen it too much. I wanna keep the eye a little ethereal, but I do want to 
kind of deep in that crease, so I'm just going to kind of blend that in. Blend, blend, blend. Taking whatever's left on my brush here, running a little bit of that underneath. Okay, these are really pretty colors, and I did glam it up a bit more, made it into more of a smokyish eye, but I could totally see people using this more on the day to day day as well. Um, you definitely don't need to always use this one's going to really glam it up but you could kind of use these three right here if you were wanting something not quite as glam. This color right here just sort of takes it over the edge. I think it is so pretty. It adds a little lightness on the eyes. And again, I'm just playing with it for the first time. So I am going to go ahead and put on the Extreme Mascara from Tom Ford. You can kind of ground the look and then we can play with that beautiful highlighter, put a little blush on, kind of tie in the whole face. Okay, so far I am really loving this eye quad. Um, it adds a little bit of drama and glitz to the eye, but again, in sort of a subtle Tom Ford way. I definitely feel like this is super festive, but that I can also wear this on the day-to-day, -day, so always enjoy that. But it does have a little oomph with this shade right here. It's sort of the icy one here. So it's got this beautiful, deeper taupe shade, kind of this icy color up at the top and then this deep chocolate is gorgeous and then this primer shade so really beautiful quality really pigmented easy to use okay i'm sure i'm going to get asked about a comparison between the new chanel palette and the tom ford one right here and honestly they are different. This one is going to be primarily shimmers. There's no matte in here, whereas this one, um, the Tom Ford has a nice matte color in it as well as the primer, sort of two matte shades in it. And then as far as swatches between the two, you can see that they are different. <laughs> But yes, they are going to achieve similar looks, just different tones here. So the Chanel has the graphique, the black shade in here. And again, these are all shimmeries. And then this one, I swatched the two taupe colors right next to each other. So I swatched this one because that's one of my favorite colors. And when you see it swatched next to the Tom Ford one, this one definitely almost looks like it's got a little green tinge to it. Whereas this one here is going to be just like your pure kind of taupe color. It's just really pretty. So this is Tom Ford right here. This is the Chanel swiped right next to it because they were the, the two taupe colors that I love. And as I said, you can, this is more like a comprehensive eye look, whereas this one is going to be all shimmers and you can really play this up um, and just use one or two shades. It's very pretty on the eyes, but that is the comparison between those two. And then let's go ahead and pop on some blush and then let's play with this beautiful highlighter. I am first going to pop on the Tom Ford blush. This one is in Brazen Rose and these are fantastic blushes that I haven't used for a while. So I'm having a little fun playing with some of my goodies from 
Tom Ford, and this is just such a pretty blush. So just going to put a little bit of that, a little flush, as if I have been skiing. I'm definitely feeling those vibes using this collection. That is just such a pretty little blush here. I'm basically combining both colors at once. And then, yes, I'm going to put a little bit of this in my eye look just to kind of tie my whole face together, just a teeny bit in that crease. And this is just something I do, not necessary for you, but I always feel like I want something that looks complimentary, just a tad of that in the eye look. And then let's play with this beautiful highlighter. Okay, I have to admit, I don't even know why I'm buying all these highlighters because I don't always wear highlighter every single day. But this one looked so beautiful. This is the Rose Irise. And, ooh, and this is what it looks like. Wowzer. So this is that highlighter. Very pretty here. And this one looked like it was going to be sort of that gel to powder formula that I like. So we're going to try this on. I'm just going to take a little fan brush here and ooh, it's really pretty. Put some of this on and then let's go ahead and put a little bit of this highlighter on. Oh boy. Okay, that is really pretty here. Okay, I'm going to see if it catches the light here. You can kind of see that prettiness on the cheeks here. I feel a little bit glowy here, but this one does tend to give you sort of this glass skin look. And I have a cool to neutral undertone, so I really thought this rosé might look really good on my particular light to medium cool neutral skin tone. And then we are going to finish off this look a little bit more of this beautiful rose lip oil. Okay, and then we're going to end with fragrance of the day. I used to own Tom Ford Soleil Neige, but my daughter took it with her to college. So I'm going to spritz some of this on because I always really enjoyed that scent and I feel like it goes perfect with this overall look. And let me just put some of this on. Mm, that smells so good. I'm going to have to steal it back. I'm going to go see my daughter next weekend. I'm going to be taking her to Disneyland as well as getting facials at the Biologique Recherche Ambassade in LA. I cannot wait. So I'll have to tell you all about those two little adventures. But but two things when I was at the counter, they actually had a really cute gift set that had the Soleil Blanc as well as the Soleil Neige Shimmer Oil, which is so pretty. And it was a great little combination. I was tempted to pick that up because I wanted the Soleil Neige Shimmery Body Oil because it smelled so lovely. I had put it on my um, hand and I just was like, oh, I love this fragrance. This is something that I am kind of craving right now. There is this freshness to it, but there's enough warmth in here as well. And this one is supposed to mimic the way that the sun is sort of beating down on a uh, mountaintop with fresh snow. So again, it's got that kind of cool element to it as well as that warmth from the sun. Let me read you the notes really quick because it definitely opens with bergamot very fresh. Um, so at the top notes are bergamot and carrot seed. 
I'm not sure if I smell that carrot. Maybe there's a little bit of vegetalness in here. Nothing too, um, nothing too much though. Middle notes are white flowers, orange blossom, jasmine. I definitely am smelling that gorgeous jasmine in here. Rose and Turkish rose. And then in the base notes, we have got benzoin, that warmth, vanilla, Okay, we know why I like it. And labdanum, which is sort of like a um, musk, I would say. There's something that's sort of like a soft dry down in here that smells clean and fresh, but there is some floral in here, like a kind of solar floral. I'm definitely smelling this freshness, but as I said, it's got a cool element to it. It's got some warmth in it as well. It is literally like the perfect freshie for winter because it's just not too fresh. Um, those fragrances that like cut through the heat, they don't always play as well in the winter months. And this is a beautiful fresh that's got that warmth in here as well. So it's going to work perfect in the cooler months. So definitely loving that. And I do think that gift set with the shimmering body oil looked so beautiful. The Soleil Blanc is a gold shimmer and then the Soleil Neige is a silver shimmer. It was truly beautiful. I just, I did not need any of that, but this is a gorgeous way to kind of finish off this overall Soleil Neige look. And as far as the products, I absolutely love this eye quad and this is something that I know I will personally use. So I love that. I'm a little bit surprised at how much I love this highlighter. So this one is a winner for me. I'm definitely liking it and I'm gonna make myself wear this. And again, I will do um, a little video on all these new highlighters that have been launched recently. <laughs> I don't know why I have been picking them up, but I have. I've got sucked into it. So um, I will be your guinea pig and we can kind of determine which one is the best one. But so far, a little bit keen on this one from Tom Ford. And then as far as the lip oil, it is really beautiful. It is really pricey. So if this is something that you can pick up at like Sephora on sale and you love a good lip oil, I will tell you that once you put it on, um, it is staying on my lips. It's not gloppy or anything like that. And it does feel really moisturizing. And if you were to come up and look at me, um, my lips have a really pretty sort of milky shimmer to them. And it just, it looks really pretty on the lips. So this is a splurge item, but I wouldn't say run out and get this for $60. <laughs> Um, unless you are a huge fan of lip oils, then maybe you want to give this a try. I'm going to go ahead and use this since I purchased this, um, but this is not something that I would be like, oh my gosh, everybody, you must go get this $60 lip oil. I just thought it would be very complimentary with the overall look which I think is true. So I hope that you found this video helpful. Let me know, have you picked up any of these items? Are you thinking about it? I know there's so many holiday launches that are happening right now that it can be a bit overwhelming. So I'm hoping that maybe this either helped you decide to purchase or not to purchase. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. And I hope you have a fabulous weekend and I will be back with another video soon.